In this panel, we have single pole breakers and then we have tandem breakers. Right here, this panel, this notch here in the center, if you guys see this right here, this notch, some panels, that's filled in right here, all the way across. There's nothing here. If there's a notch in it, you're allowed to put a tandem breaker in here. If you notice how far down the plastic comes here, that's a stop so that you're not allowed to put that in a slot where you have the metal, the aluminum all the way filled in here. So for this panel, we can use tandems all the way throughout. This panel is a 2040, so it's 20 spaces, 10 on each side, but you can put tandems in in every single slot. So that can enable you to use 40 circuits total. So when we put this in, we have the notch here on the back that needs to line up right in between these holes here, right over those ones. So it literally clips right over. It doesn't actually clip, but it just sits there. Now, when you go to install a breaker, you need to hold pressure to the left, okay? Or if you're on this side, you need to hold pressure to the right. You need to make sure it's all the way in there. A lot of times people, it's not all the way in there and then they go to slam it in and it's not, it's not seated. You need to seat it over, come over nice and clean with pressure still pushing that way with this thumb right here and then slam it in. I like to try it one or two times to make sure I really got it in there good. That one's ready to go. The same thing with a single pole regular breaker, not a tandem. The difference here, look here how high this goes. The other one is way down. This one goes way up. This one can go in the slot where you have the metal filled in the hole all the way. So if you notice, they wanna make sure that you don't put tandems in spaces where you're not supposed to.